I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on extended form of binomial expansion. We have two related questions in this particular video. You can always pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, find a quadratic approximation for the following functions stating the values of x for which the expansion is valid. 5 minus x over 1 minus x squared and 3 plus x over 2 minus x whole square. So these are the two expressions for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So when we are saying expansions, what we have here is that 1 plus x to the power of n can be written as 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial, correct? And so on, correct? So that is one part. And second part is stating the restriction or we know that the absolute value of x should be less than 1 so that this series converges and we could get a value, correct? Now, if absolute value of x is less than 1, then higher powers, I'm sorry, this is x squared and this is x cubed, okay. Then the higher powers will be much, much smaller and they can be neglected. So that is the whole idea, right? So keeping that in mind, let us work on this. So we'll work on the first rational expression, which is 5 minus x over 1 minus x squared. Now, uh, we need to find a quadratic approximation. That means we have to write this as a quadratic function. So, uh, to do that, let's work on 1 minus x squared first. So, 1 minus x squared to the power of minus 1. It could be written like this, right? So, we'll use this expansion to expand this term. So, 1 minus x squared. n is minus 1 and x actually is minus x squared. So, what we get here is 1 plus n is minus 1, right? And the other term is x is minus x squared, correct? And the next term is plus. Uh, now, since we need to only go for quadratic approximation, we need not take higher terms. Here we'll have cubic term, correct? Rather, much higher. So, we're going to neglect this, right? So, the next term will be higher. So, we'll approximate this to 1 minus and minus becomes plus, so 1 plus x squared. Is that clear to you? So, therefore, the term 5 minus x over 1 minus x squared can be written as 5 minus x times 1 plus x squared, correct? Now, let's expand this. We get 5 plus 5x squared minus x minus x cubed. Correct? We get this form when we expand this. Since we need to only find the quadratic approximation, we can write this expression as 5 minus x plus 5x squared. So that becomes the quadratic expression. Right? Now we need to state the values of x for which the expansion is valid. Now, since we expanded this part, so what we have here is that the absolute value of minus x squared should be actually less than 1. And that really means that this is like absolute value, right? So, square root of 1. So, we can say absolute value of x squared is less than 1. Or, this means that the value of x, absolute value of x, is within plus and minus 1 or less than 1. Correct. So that becomes the restriction in our case. I hope that makes sense. Correct. So steps are clear. I'd like you now to pause the video and answer the second part, which is quite similar to what we just did. Perfect. And then look into my suggestions. Now let's take up solution for the second part, which is 3 plus x over 2 minus x whole square. Now, in this, we have to work on 2 minus x whole squared, and then we can write this as a quadratic approximation, okay? 
So let's work on this part. One over two minus x whole square can be written as two minus x to the power of minus two. We are going to uh, now this could be written as because we want one plus something, right? So we could write this as uh, two common, right? And over in brackets we get one minus x over two to the power of minus two. Right? That is how we could write this. And that is equal to 1 over 2 square is 4. And uh, we get 1 plus x over 2 to the power of minus 2. So that is what we will try to expand. The, the formula which we are going to use is 1 plus x to the power of n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x. Correct. Since we are only... Uh, in x squared. Since we are only interested in quadratic approximation, we will restrict ourselves to these three terms. In fact, we actually need only two terms because we are also multiplying by 3 plus x. Right? Okay. So, we need to approximate what is 1 over 4 1 plus x over 2 to the power of minus 2. So, that is 1 over 4 and we'll expand this part, which is 1 plus n values minus 2, and the x values x over 2, right? Uh, so we'll just take uh, these two parts, neglecting the rest. Uh, we could take this because 3 is getting multiplied with it, so we'll use this part also. So we have n, which is uh, minus 2, let's write down, sorry. So we have minus 2 times minus 2 minus 1 over 2 factorial x square which is uh, for us x over 2 whole square correct oh uh, yes we'll neglect the other terms that should make sense okay so that is 1 over 4 uh, 2 and 2 cancel with the negative sign we get 1 minus x now in this case we have uh, 2 and 2 cancel, minus 2 minus 2 is 3, uh, minus 3, so we get minus 3, x square over 2 square, which is 4. We'll neglect the other terms, right? So that is what. We could now multiply by 1 over 4 and write this as, as, or shall we keep it outside? Let's keep it outside. Okay, so anyway, um, you want, you can multiply. So we can write this as 1 over 4 minus x over 4 minus 3 over 4 times 4 is 16 x square. Okay. That is the approximate value. And now we can write down the expression for what is 3 plus x over 2 minus x whole square equals to, right? It is 3 plus x times all this, uh, which is 1 over 4 minus x over 4 minus 3 over 16 x square. Correct. So when you expand, let's multiply by 3 first. So we get 3 over 4 minus 3x over 4 and 9 over 16 x square. Multiplying with x, we can take the first term, which is plus x over 4, plus x over 4, correct? So that's what you get, which is equal to, combining the terms, uh, we have 3 over 4, which is a constant, and then here, we have uh, minus 3x and plus x is minus 2x, minus 2x over 4. We'll simplify this. And then we have minus 9 over 16 x squared. Or we can write this as 3 over 4 minus half x minus 9 over 16 x squared. Correct. So that becomes our quadratic approximation of the given formula. Is that clear to you? Right. Now we have to also mention uh, the values of x 
for which the expansion is valid. So, so it is only valid when this value inside the bracket x over 2, this value, right? So x over 2 absolute value should be less than 1. That means absolute value of x is less than 2. So that is the restriction. So the restriction here is that the absolute value of x is less than 2. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to answer this particular question. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.